Week 3, Video 1, Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster. Jerry Siegel was a writer and Joe Schuster was the artist. Together, they became one of the most famous writer-artist teams in the comic book industry. Joe Schuster was born in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Jerry Siegel was born in Cleveland, Ohio, America. Both were sons of immigrants and got to look at America from the immigrants' perspective. They met each other in Glenville High School in Cleveland, probably around the age of 16, where they began to create stories together. The two created a fan scene called Science Fiction, and in 1933, one of the issues had a short story called Reign of the Superman. It was a short story about a mad scientist who experimented on a homeless man who he gave telepathic powers to. The homeless man became power hungry and used his powers to realize that the mad scientist who gave him those powers would kill him and use the powers to make himself rich. The homeless man killed the scientist, but his powers began to fade. Realizing that he didn't know how to duplicate the process, the homeless man lost his powers and ended up being the nobody he was before he gained them. Using the genre of science fiction, Siegel and Schuster were playing around with the concept of superhuman powers before they went into comics. However, the boys were very interested in the newly developing medium of comics. At the time, success stories like Dick Tracy and Little Orphan Annie made writing these comics a legitimate career. They started working for Major Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson's company in 1936 and wrote for Fun Comics. As mentioned in the previous video, they began working on detective comics, creating characters like Slam Bradley. Joe Schuster's art had a blocky and crude style, which might seem subpar by today's standards. However, his panels were well designed, and it seemed popular enough at the time it was released. His art was also better than many other artists at the time. Both men were raised in Jewish families, and that's something that you're going to notice about many and most of the creators who invented early comic book characters. There is a strong connection between superheroes and Jewish creators. The problem with writing and drawing comics was at the time the boys started, America was in the middle of the Great Depression, the worst economic period that the country had ever faced. Unemployment was a huge problem, and if they didn't work for next to nothing, the publishers would just find someone else who would. The tough economic times forced publishers to be more conservative, so most wouldn't take a chance on something they didn't know. This is why Major Malcolm Wheeler Nicholson's company was struggling so much in its early years. Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster worked for years on a character they believed in. A character that was so original that no one wanted to take a chance on it. After trying to sell the stories to a few publishers and getting no luck, they finally got a buyer in Detective Comics Incorporated, who needed a star character for their new anthology comic, Action Comics No. 1. They sold this character for just $120 American, just under $2,000 in today's currency, with the stipulation that they would be allowed to write his stories once it was published. For those of you who haven't guessed yet, that character was Superman.